as you can see 12.1 volts and we've got power no batteries no inverters no charge controllers no complicated setup very simple plug it into a solar panel and we've got power g'day guys today i'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how i made this small no battery solar system so this solar system just runs off solar alone it's a 12 volt system um, obviously very cheap to set up because you only need a couple items very simple to set up and without the batteries or charge controllers and all that it's um, very budget friendly very inexpensive to make so today I'm just gonna it's not a, a actual step by step but I'm going to show you how I put this little system together and what components I used okay um, for my little setup here I've used a 12 volt accessory panel I'll, for this one here it's the King's accessory panel I picked this up for about $45 Aussie dollars you don't have to use obviously the King's one you can use any other one you can find but this is the one that we're gonna be showing you today very very good unit feels pretty well made this is um, obviously like an aluminium pretty heavy it all is fused every single port has got a fuse on it so the top two ports will have a 5 amp fuse and the two cigarette lighter ports will have a 10 amp fuse so at the top of this King's accessory panel, you have a voltage meter at the top. You've got two cigarette lighter ports um, rated to 10 amps, both fused. And then at the bottom, you have uh, two USB-A ports, got a one amp at the top and a 2.1 at the bottom. I would like if they come out with USB-Cs, I'm sure they will eventually. But it would be nice to have a USB-A and a USB-C port on these units. But I'm sure they will come out eventually. Um, what I have done is just used two little bits of dowel and screwed in through the bottom of this accessory panel. Just to make a bit of a basic stand. So I can stand up like that. Um, not ideal. I'll, I'll probably would like to maybe put an extra bit of board on the base of this so maybe screw this down to a base of mdf just to give it a little bit more support it does topple over a little bit but yeah and what i have done is soldered use a bit of 14 gauge wire this will well and truly handle you know a good 200 plus watts through this here so as you can see i'll zoom in a little bit for you as you can see, I've used a 14 gauge and then spliced on, obviously there's four fuses and four cables, so I've spliced two at the front of the 14 gauge and then two at the back side of the 14 gauge. This is just how I done it. Um, you could do it a lot differently. It's totally up to you, but so you got the 14 gauge here, goes into the 16 gauge wires, they'll lead to the US um, to the accessory panel and then I've done a similar thing to the the negative as well um, yeah I, I did I did leave this open just so I could show you guys how I did it then from that 14 gauge onto the XT60 connections you don't even have to have the XT60 connections if you'd like you can just basically solder straight to this unit too if you wanted um, this is just how I've done it, just so I can take this off and put on something else if I'd like. Um, also with this DC to DC converter, I've done the same XT60 connections. Uh, very easy plug and play. This is a 360 watt step down converter, so this will step down my 34 volt panels. It says 24 volt input here, but um, on the data sheet, it can handle up to 40 volts. So, got my 
input from my solar panels and that will go down to the 12 volt 30 amp hour max i've had this unit i've had this for a good two years plus i reckon and this has been yeah these are super reliable these um yeah have had seen a lot of videos of people using these and yeah no one's really ha ever had any problems with these very solid unit reasonably cheap i have recently picked up a similar unit this is a new one i've only picked up the other day but this is has a 13.8 volt output so it's going to be a little bit more efficient in on the output side this will put out basically just above 12 volts while this will give you an extra 1.8 volt it is said that the little bit higher voltage um, will run your little 12 volt appliances a little bit more efficient so i will be probably doing a test comparison side by side test with this later on down the track um, i did find that this was a little bit more expensive it's probably an extra maybe four or five dollars to pick up the 13.8 volt one so it'd be interesting to see um, how well um, they perform if there's much of a difference between the two this whole setup hang on I'll zoom out this whole setup here was probably about eighteen dollars so it'd be perfect um cheap little setup for someone providing you've got the sunshine you can do a few a fair bit of work with this little setup here perfect for emergency power if you just had um this put away in a box somewhere and for some reason your power was out during during the day of course you can pull this out and, and keep your phones charged and your power banks and all that charged up yeah as long as you can find access to a solar panel then yeah this is perfect all right guys i'll take this outside connect it up to my solar and we'll put this to use all right guys got this um outside now got my solar panels here 34 volts this is a 500 watt array panels to 250 watts in um, parallel so we'll plug this into the inverter Ideally, if you wanted, you can basically swap these XT60s out to MC4 connections if you'd want that. Entirely up to you. But got that plugged in. Plug this in. As you can see, 12.1 volts. And we've got power. No batteries, no inverters, no charge controllers, no complicated setup. Very simple, plug it into a solar panel and we've got power. Just keep in mind, um, when you do purchase one of these, just make sure that your input rating on the converter will match your solar panels. For this example here, this converter matches my 34 volt panels. So if you've got a higher voltage array, you may have to look at a different, a higher voltage input. They yeah, have all sorts of different voltage inputs of these. So yeah, pick one that matches your solar panels and go to town. Happy solar, perfect little off grid setup, perfect little emergency power setup providing you've got access to solar panels okay guys it's doing some work now got these power packs charging very simple dirt cheap solar setup for under $80 Aussie dollars It'll probably be around $50 US uh, perfect emergency solar Perfect little old off-grid solution. 
for those that just wanted a little bit of 12 volt power. Um, they were on a budget, providing the sun's shining. This little setup will produce plenty of power on those good sunny days. All right, guys, for those that are still hanging around and still watching, I appreciate it. I hope you found this interesting. Um, give us a like and a thumbs up if you like this um, content. Um, comment below any other ideas you'd like to see. I appreciate it, you guys, and I'll see yous on the next one. Bye.